Why hello there! Limit here with some really cool data that someone discovered on the Dark Souls 2 subreddit. Basically a dude called Frenchwender? <laughs> I have no idea. Discovered a really cool technique where you're able to do running attacks with block frames. So I thought this technique is incredibly cool, it deserves way more exposure, the dude deserves way more subs, and I wanted to add my own thoughts on top of it, considering it shares some rather weird parallels to block parrying, which I'll get to in a minute. So first off, here's his video, it's 5 minutes long, I really recommend giving it a watch, because he's probably going to explain things a lot better than I will be, especially considering I won't be explaining how to do it. So give that video a quick watch. Also, the video does expand from a technique from De Tobio's videos. Man, that's a goddamn mouthful. Basically, it gives techniques like I do, but they're actually useful to use. How about that? Anywho, now I'm going to be going into complete and total ramble territory. Unlike his very well-made video, I do think this does share some similarities to block parrying. Why do I think this? Well, number one, form a running block attack and press parry as soon as you finish. You may notice you're actually performing a block parry, and this works with every single weapon with a shield in the offhand. And if you perform it with a heavy shield in the offhand, you get a heavy attack with block frames. So it's exactly like those other two videos I made a long time ago. Now I need to let on a little secret. After I finished that block parry video, some people, in fact several people, sent me a message, including some guy in a dot reddit had a thread about this. You can actually perform it with any weapon in the game, and you can chain block parries of any move in the game. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? To do a block parry, just do any move, and I do mean any. And when your character is returning to his idle pose, his idle stance, hold block. And as soon as you see his shield arm start to move, it will move in an unnatural way. Press parry, and there you go, you have a block parry. It might take a few minutes to get the timing down, and it's a little bit different on a weapon to weapon basis. So, what does this all have to do with running blocking attacks? Well, I'm fairly certain it is all exploiting the very same bug. This bug seems to happen when your character is returning to the idle animation, you then start to block and then interrupt that for a brand new move, such as a parry. And there you go. You have now retained block frames onto this new move. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous already. You can do a block parry, block running attacks, and even a block backstab. I'll get to that tomorrow. You can even two-handed shield and do two-handed block parries, and also do two-handed block heavy attacks with the shield. That deserves its own video. I'll get onto that some other day. So, what am I really getting at with this whole entire ramble? Well, I'm certain this concept can be done with every type of move in the game. So running attacks, rolling attacks, jumping attacks. And I can even prove it works with heavy attacks. I gave this a go about five minutes ago, and yeah, using the same technique as blocking running attacks. Just do a back step, do the turn, and press R2 instead of R1, and there you go. You have blocking heavy attacks. Anywho, I hope this round has been somewhat informative and or interesting. Just remember, if you're going to give this a go in PvP, to do running blocking attacks, you have to deplete the last of your stamina with a blocking jumping attack. So just do a jumping attack while blocking. And that will enable the bug to let you do this every single time. I have no idea why this is the case. I have no idea how this guy discovered it. But seriously, that's some skill. Some skillful work. And you have more than enough time in Arena to do it. It only takes, what, five seconds? So, that's the end of my rant. I hope you learned something cool. Give it a go at PvP. And if you do, good luck and good game. I'll see you next time.